Extensive scientific exploration across Central Florida has revealed an astonishing reality. Beneath the region's renowned beaches, orange groves, and solar warmth lies a tectonic fault line hidden deep in the Earth's crust, a feature that fundamentally challenges the long-standing notion of Florida as geologically tranquil and uneventful. This discovery emerged from an in-depth sequence of geophysical investigations combining high-resolution satellite imagery, ground-penetrating radar, seismic reflection profiling, and microgravity analyses. For generations, Florida has been considered a stable, plate region, largely immune to the tectonic activity commonly associated with plate boundaries. Yet this new fault, extending roughly 130 kilometers from Crystal River by the Gulf of Mexico to just south of Orlando, shows evidence of organized structural displacement, consistent directional shifts, and intermittent movement at depth, variations too systematic and spatially coherent to be dismissed as mere sinkhole formation or surface collapse. The narrative began when a persistent series of minor tremors rattled northern Florida five times within a single month, culminating in a magnitude 3.8 quake near the Florida-Alabama state line that caught the attention of media and scientists alike. Such seismic activity is rare in Florida, and its recurrence pushed geophysicists to re-examine earlier assumptions. Employing satellite-based interferometric synthetic aperture radar, INSAR, allowed researchers to detect minuscule ground deformations on the order of millimeters over a period of months. When mapped, these deformations aligned along a remarkably straight line, revealing the shallow footprint of a deeper tectonic structure. Subsequent seismic reflection studies provided further clarity beneath coastal sands and sedimentary layers lay a fault extending down to Paleozoic bedrock. Structure beneath central Florida is more complex than previously thought, with fractures propagated deep into ancient crystalline rocks, contrary to earlier beliefs that the state's geology was too soft or too recent to sustain such tectonic activity. The fault's seismic signature, combined with analyses of ground movement directionality, suggests that motion along the fault is neither random nor surface-based. It instead hints at intraplate strike-slip fault behavior, where crustal blocks slide past each other under stress, supporting evidence came from the reanalysis of a tremor recorded in 1997. That event had been puzzling due to its shape and duration. By revisiting the waveform data, scientists identified characteristics typical of intraplate strike-slip events seen in parts of the central United States, such as the New Madrid Seismic Zone and along hidden Appalachian faults. This reclassification indicates that the 1997 tremor was not an isolated anomaly, but rather likely tied to ongoing tectonic reactivation of this newly discovered central Florida fault. Accompanying geological anomalies bolstered confidence in this interpretation. A series of sinkholes that had formed along near-perfectly straight alignments could no longer be explained by random karst processes. Instead, their pattern matches surface expression of subsurface faulting. Similarly, magnetic surveys revealed localized anomalies along the same fault axis, suggesting changes in rock composition and orientation aligned with tectonic structures. Together, these phenomena painted a holistic portrait of hidden tectonic dynamics at play beneath the Floridan platform. In response, geoscientists have employed microgravity sensors and satellite gravimetry to model the stress field across the region. These tools detect minute variations in gravitational pull caused by subsurface density changes, enabling researchers to identify areas of stress accumulation. Early results show that while stress gradients in Florida remain lower than those at active plate boundaries, they are nonetheless sufficient to reactivate ancient crustal weaknesses when combined with regional stress from distant plate interactions or glacial rebound effects transmitted across North America. Understanding Florida's fault is more than an academic curiosity. It has practical implications for infrastructure planning planning, building codes, water resources management, and public safety. Historically, Florida's lack of seismic protocols reflects its perceived geological stability, but this new evidence prompts a reassessment. Engineers and policymakers must contemplate earthquake resilience in critical infrastructure design, particularly for densely populated or utility-linked areas near the fault's trace. Public awareness campaigns may also be needed to prepare residents in a region that previously considered earthquakes improbable. Yeah. Beyond civil considerations, the fault discovery reshapes broader perceptions of intraplate tectonics. It underscores that regions far from plate margins can harbor active faults, especially where ancient crustal features intersect younger sedimentary covers. Florida's hidden fault exemplifies how modern geophysics, using techniques like INSAIR, ground-penetrating radar, seismic imaging, and gravity mapping, can uncover the invisible skeleton beneath seemingly benign landscapes. Such findings invite comparisons with other so-called stable zones that may host dormant or low-activity faults, suggesting a need to revisit intraplate seismic risk maps worldwide. For Central Florida, the path forward includes continuous monitoring of ground deformation and seismicity, refinement of regional stress models, deeper drilling to characterize rock properties at depth, and integration into hazard assessment frameworks. Collaborations among universities, government agencies, and emergency management bodies will be crucial. Meanwhile, the geology community remains intrigued by Florida's transformation from a land of eternal sunshine to one with a subtle but consequential seismic heartbeat. As more data accumulates, researchers anticipate identifying the fault's precise rupture potential, recurrence intervals, 
and likely impact scenarios. In the public sphere, communication strategies must evolve. Residents accustomed to hurricanes and flooding now face a novel risk that demands a different preparedness mindset. Educators and media outlets are already adapting their narratives, emphasizing that beneath the flat expanses lie ancient forces capable of producing tremors and landscape changes. Schools and community centers may incorporate earthquake drills and information sessions alongside traditional storm preparedness training. From a scientific perspective, this discovery may trigger renewed interest in exploring other hidden faults beneath low-relief sedimentary regions. Scientists will likely explore whether similar structures exist in other parts of the southeastern United States or even beyond, revisiting historical quake records for clues and applying satellite remote sensing to unexamined territories. Such efforts could refine our understanding of how stress propagates through continental interiors and how ancient tectonic fabrics influence present-day seismic behavior. While the immediate seismic risk posed by the Florida Fault remains modest, its presence alters the state's geological identity. No longer can Florida rely on assumptions of immobility. Instead, it must acknowledge a subdued but persistent tectonic underpinning. Predictive models will need adjustment to account for slow slip events, intraplate stress trends, and possible future quakes, even if minor. Insurance assessments, environmental impact studies, and resource extraction plans must reflect the enhanced complexity. Technologically, this research highlights the importance of multimodal sensing in modern geology. INSAR's millimeter scale precision, seismic reflections, spatial resolution, gravity mapping, subsurface density insights, and magnetic survey sensitivity to mineral alignment collectively compose a toolkit that brings hidden geology into focus. Continued innovation, such as the deployment of dense nodal seismic arrays or drone-mounted magnetic sensors, promises to further refine the resolution of fault detection and characterization. From the perspective of regional development, policymakers face new questions. Should building codes near the fault line incorporate engineering features designed for seismic loads? How will emergency services adapt? What is the cost-benefit balance of retrofitting existing structures versus relying on the current low probability risk stance. These questions echo challenges faced in low seismicity regions elsewhere, where the expense of earthquake preparedness must be weighed against infrequent event likelihood. Future research directions include calibrating Florida's intraplate stress environment, determining whether the stress driving this fault stems from distant plate boundary forces, glacial isostatic adjustment, or local crustal processes such as sediment loading and unloading. High resolution numerical modeling will help simulate how stress accumulates along the fault and interacts with crustal abnormalities. Such models may offer insight into whether the fault is capable of larger events, magnitude 5 or greater, though current evidence suggests modest displacement consistent with smaller quakes. The re-evaluation of the 1997 tremor has broader resonance. Worldwide, historical seismic records often contain ambiguous events dismissed due to lack of corroborating evidence. With modern analytical tools, such records can be revisited to assess their tectonic origin. In Florida's case, the 1997 event now frames our understanding of fault activity in the state. Other regions may contain similar hidden earthquakes awaiting rediscovery, prompting a redefinition of seismic hazard in formerly quiet zones. Importantly, the story of Florida's fault line is being told not just in academic circles, but across public platforms via documentaries, news features, and online content. Through accessible narration and visuals, scientific findings are reaching a wider audience, prompting both awe and concern. The narrative resonates. Florida, a land of beaches and oranges, holds a subterranean secret, a reminder that even the calmest surface can conceal dynamic processes. Looking ahead, citizen science may play a role. Amateur seismic monitoring stations, smartphone apps that detect tremors, and crowdsourced sinkhole reporting could complement official efforts, building a richer dataset and raising community awareness. Engaging Floridians in the scientific process fosters ownership over regional geology and encourages vigilance. Ultimately, the discovery of this fault line marks a paradigm shift. It reminds us that the Earth's crust is more interconnected and dynamic than surface appearance suggests. Florida's hidden fault advances our understanding of intraplate seismicity, challenges local risk perceptions, and underscores the power of modern sensing technologies. As research continues, Florida stands at the vanguard of a new wave of geological discovery, one where even the sunniest landscapes are not immune to the subtle pressure of tectonic forces deep below. In the interplay of satellite sensors, deep-toed seismic arrays, gravity meters, and magnetic surveys lies a story of discovery, a tale of a region once deemed immune to earthquakes now acknowledged as quietly active. That story prompts reflection about how many other quiet lands might harbor similar secrets, awaiting their moment to reshape our understanding of Earth's restless crust. Florida's fault is both a local revelation and a global signal. The deeper we look, the more dynamic our planet appears. 
years, even where we believed it to be still. Given the emerging understanding, interdisciplinary collaboration becomes essential. Geologists, geophysicists, engineers, urban planners, emergency managers, and communicators must unite to translate discovery into action, mapping, design standards, educational outreach, and resilient infrastructure. Florida also has a unique opportunity to lead the charge in rethinking seismic hazard in intraplate settings, pioneering protocols that other similar regions might adopt. In time, as sensor networks densify, models sharpen, and data accumulate, the full story of Florida's fault will unfold. Will it remain a subtle undercurrent with rare microquakes, or might it occasionally release slightly larger tremors? Answering that requires patience, continued investment, and a willingness to rethink the assumption of geological quietude. Yet regardless of outcome, the mere presence of the fault transforms our understanding of Florida and invites a more humble, inquisitive posture toward all landscapes that seem silent at first glance. In conclusion, the hidden fault beneath central Florida disrupts the state's geological narrative and offers a profound lesson. Stability can be a veneer, and beneath even the calmest surface lies the potential for movement, discovery, and change.